welcome to Have Guitar. Hope you are doing great as always. Today I'm doing a video about something that I have not featured on the channel before. Guitar picks. A small piece of equipment that you don't always pay that much attention to, but maybe you should. Or maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, you should. Because, I mean, this is the only thing between you and your guitar. This is how you express yourself, uh, really, when you play guitar, unless you play with the fingers, of course. Uh, anyway, I have, I have been aware about gravity picks for quite some while now. I've seen them in various forums and stuff like that. But I thought they were too thick for my pre preference. I usually run with picks that are 0.6, uh, so they are quite thin. And most of the gravity picks I've seen is quite thick. So I got one classic standard 2mm from Klaus, the guy I borrowed the Les Paul Budokan from. Uh, and well, I tried it out and kind of liked it. So I decided to order a pack and why not make a video about it. Uh, it's a nerdy thing perhaps, but uh, you should uh, care for the, for the equipment that you use to play guitar, I think. So, in the variety pack that I ordered, it's $29, and you will get two Purple Classic, one 1.1 and one 0.6 millimeters, that is. You will get one Orange Classic, that is 3 millimeters, that's quite thick, the thickest of them all actually in this pack. Uh, two Green Classic Standard, uh, or rather two Green, one Classic Standard, 1.5 millimeters and one classic stealthy 1.5 millimeters as well. Free blue pickup, pickups, no, no, free blue picks, uh, one classic standard 2 millimeter, one trip standard 2 millimeters, and one sunrise standard 2 millimeters. So if you're gonna judge a pick, how do you judge it? First of all, it's the feeling. I mean, how do you feel about using this pick when you play guitar? I would say I liked most of the gravity picks actually, they are nice. You can also discuss grip. Do you drop the, the pick when you play? No, I did not drop it once during the sessions I've had when I play. So the grip is good, I would say. It's not uh, outstanding, but it's good. It's not like... Uh, for that orange 3mm pick, I think I kind of got a little bit stuck in the strings a couple of times. But that's maybe more me being unused to using those uh, that, that kind of thick picks. Uh, so, but I didn't drop it and it really didn't affect my playing in that sense either, actually. I also ordered a Rob Chapman signature pick, which is a Razor Standard 2mm, unpolished um, rims, I guess you could say. That's $6 for that because I just wanted to try it and I guess the name Rob Chapman just got my attention. Uh, so that's the picks I got. This information might be interesting for anyone living outside the US because I ordered mine from US. I think there are some retailers in Europe as well, but I figured I might, might as well just go for the source. So I ordered mine the 26th of March uh, and they arrived the 10th of April. So that's roughly 15 days from US to Sweden. Uh, nothing really to complain about, I think. Uh, I, I know that uh, they were shipped quite quickly after I uh, ordered them a day or so. I got the confirmation email, so that's really no big deal for me. Uh, $40 all in all for these picks, $6 for the Rob Chapman pick, and $29 for the variety pack, uh, so that makes $5 in uh, PMP, right? So if I should give some opinion about these picks, uh, I would say I, I really like them much more than I thought I would actually. They look great, which might not really matter when you play, but they still look really cool. You'll see that in the stills or in the pictures that I put in the video here. Uh, they have a nice tone. Of course it will affect your tone somewhat on the mater material and the shape and stuff like that and how you use them of course when you play. The ones that I liked the most were actually the ones that have an unpolished uh, edge. Uh, I don't know... I can't really say why. I just got a good feeling when I played with them. Uh, and they sound nice. Uh, yeah. So I think they are quite cool actually. Quite cool. It's a variety pack and it gives some variety to the standard picks that you are using otherwise. Uh, and it's always fun to try something new. Uh, maybe you'll come up with a new riff or a, 
whatever. You never know how, how new equipment will uh, affect your playing or your uh, inspiration, I would say. So that's quite nice. And also, I can't really judge it right now exactly how the longevity of them are, how long they will last. But I do have a feeling that they are quite thick and I think they are quite sturdy and I think that they will last long. So, um, yeah, 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 I would say they are worth the money. I suppose that they are kind of ha handmade. I read somewhere that uh, the guy behind Gravity Picks uh, started his business in his father's garage. Uh, but I don't know if he's still in that garage, if, it's, if the company has grown or something, I don't really know. Anyway, very nice picks, I would recommend them, you should at least try them. Uh, get a variety pack for $29, that's not like uh, overly much money, so why not order one and just try it for yourself. So it's open for discussion how much a pick will affect the tone when you play, uh, I would say it does to a certain degree, even if it's just a subtle change or variation, uh, but it's still, and uh, of course it, the feel of the, of the pick, uh, how much you like it could also affect how you play, you never know, uh, unconscious decisions you know. So I figured why not make a little test, I will try out five different picks, uh, I will play the same riff, uh, it will be a line recording, uh, just for the scientific uh, aspect of, the, of it all, uh, and I will not at first reveal which picks it is, and you will not get me to see me in the first round when I play either. And then you can guess, you will get an option, I will uh, put in the five picks here, but not in which order I will play with them, and then you can guess. And then I will reveal, you will see me playing and you will see the pick and you will hear the same riff over again, and you can see if you guessed right. Just a fun little novelty thing uh, that I came up with when doing this video, so here we go! So that was a quick look at the gravity picks, the picks that almost looks like candy, uh, or at least very attractive or nice in some mesmerizing way. I uh, hope you liked the video, uh, great pickups, do try them out, I really like them. Uh, there will come more pick specials on Have Guitar I think, uh, because that's a kind of an inexpensive way of just trying out 
something that I would consider still is quite important for your playing, both when it comes to the technique, both when it comes to the feeling, inspiration, motivation, the list could go on and you never would have thought all that was lying in a little piece of some kind of plastic material, right? So uh, it's just a fun thing to do, right? Try it out, see if you get uh, inspired, see if you come up with something new, see if you can, if it affects your playing in some way, if it affects your tone. Uh, I hope you did well on the test if you participated in that, I don't know. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching my videos, and this video is particular right now then. Uh, if you do like it, there are plenty more where it came from. I have, uh, I have a bunch of videos on the channel. More coming, one new video every Thursday, sometimes I throw in a bonus video on Sundays, most likely. This could be one of those, unless I decide to publish it on a Thursday. Uh, so have guitar, do subscribe, uh, you will have uh, my uh, everlasting gratitude, I think. Yes, you would. And to all of you who already do subscribe and support the channel, Hats off to you, thanks a lot, so appreciated, just want to say that. You can follow Have Guitar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and not Instagram, but Tumblr. Uh, the links are in the description below. Uh, so are links to Gravity Picks, of course. Uh, very nice, uh, kind of innovative uh, pick for electric or any other string instrument, I guess. Very nice. So, thanks for watching, I will stop rambling. Stay well, play hard and be safe. Uh, until I see you next time, goodbye.